Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. My name is Blake Cousins and this week we speak to Russell Mariano from Long Island, New York where he captured amazing lights in the sky over Farmingdale. Thanks for joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon, Russell. Thank you, Blake. Great to be here. Russell, let's get to it. Can you tell us what happened that night and what were the circumstances? Sure. Well, it was kind of a very strange night because um, my daughter had all her friends over for a New Year's party. So we were out in the backyard by the fire pit and it was about 11.30 you know, p.m. And uh, I was telling them about a story that happened in 1977, a UFO encounter I had right in that spot that we were that we were in. And I was telling them about, you know, where the location was. And after that whole story was over, we went in to watch the ball drop. And then um, one of the kids went out for a smoke. I call them kids because they're 23, but, you know, I'm, I'm 59. So uh, one of the kids comes in and he says, uh, Mr. Mayorana, he goes, there's this big, huge glowing object uh, outside. And I'm going, really? So I run outside, you know, and I was filming all night long what was going around the house. And, you know, um, and I run outside and sure enough, there's this ball of white. And I'm talking this orb that was orange and yellow. And it was, it had energy coming out of it. It looked like it was, uh, you know, um, an energy field. And it was vibrant color. So I says, holy crap. I'm looking at it. And he goes, well, there's a lot more in the front yard. I'm going, what? So I run in the house and I grab my camera off the table and as you see in the video it was kind of crazy because I had my cell phone in one hand, I had the camera in the other hand on and I was, I, it wasn't in focus at first but they were all coming in from the, uh, from the north and, and they were just coming one by one right over and the video actually does nothing for it because on camera for some reason that frequency light doesn't show up. The full frequency light doesn't show up in the camera. It, it brings it right down to a very small point. But I'm telling you, it was such a beautiful sight to see these balls of light just, you know, going right past. There's no noise. We at Third Phase of Moon has posted your video two weeks ago, and people have been saying that these may be Chinese lanterns of some kind. What would you have to say to these people? Oh, Blake, I am telling you, if you would have seen this, your hair would have stood up. It was so awesome. The, the, the color um, is something that, you know, you just, we don't, I've never seen anything like that. I mean, the, 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 um, the, the color was just, uh, it, was a, it was an energy field. It was just like an energy field going across the sky very slow, and it was big. Like I said, the video does nothing for it. You made contact with us approximately two weeks ago. Can you tell our viewers how easy it is to contact Third Phase of Moon and submit your UFO videos? Well, first of all, I, I, am a, um, I love seeing videos about UFOs. I love to see you know, how many other people caught the stuff out there. So I submitted mine up to YouTube. And when I was on there searching around for everyone's video, I came across um, your channel and got hooked into it immediately. Now, look, you know, there are a lot of skeptics out there and I read the, you know, I read what they post on your stuff and, you know, some people just don't get it. And, um, you know, they, I mean, some of the stuff, okay, I think some of the stuff that's, you know, uh, sent up to third phase of the moon, I think there's a lot of people out there that have software that can create stuff and it's up to, you know, you post it, it's up to the people to figure out if it's real or not. And it's up to you guys to debug it, you know, maybe say, you know what, it looks kind of good, but, you know, there's software out there that, that can do that. Um, I'm a video editor. That's my profession. I've been, I've been a, pretty, a video editor for 28 years and a videographer for 28 years. But what I shot is 100% true. It's real. Um, and there's trees in the background. There's, uh, there's a lot of stuff that would be, I think, pretty difficult to try to... Um, uh, fake. Russell, I really want to thank you for sharing your footage with us and people from around the world tuning in to Third Phase of Moon. Blake, you guys are doing a great job out there. Thank God you're out there because you know what? We really need to get this out and you know, 
Um, you, you're just, you're doing a great job. I, I kind of freaked out when I saw that there was a, a twin. I'm going, what? <laughs> I'm going, that's so cool. I mean, that's another, you know, that's just another cool piece, you know? <laughs> The TV show has that. I mean, it's just like it's just like you know, you really created your own, you know, your own thing, and it's just uh, you know your own niche where you know you have your style, the way you do things. I just think it's cool that you're doing it, and you're doing it from the Big Island. I mean, you're connected to the world. You live where everybody wants to live. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Remember, if you capture anything in the future, Russell, you're gonna let us know, right? You bet. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Thanks again, Russell. And you keep your eyes on the skies over there in New York, okay? You bet. <laughs> if anybody out there has captured anything amazing like Russell in regards to UFOs, you can contact us at Third Phase of Moon via Skype or Facebook. And check out our new website at www.thirdphaseofmoon.net. My name's Blake Cousins, and we'll see you again next time. Phase of the Moon. Hey guys, get over here. I want to hear your comments. I want to hear your comments. Hold my phone. Hold my phone. Hold my phone. Hold my phone. There's another one coming. Yeah, they're gross. There's another one. That's seven. That's seven. That's seven. That is no balloons, right? They're like, oh, it's a helicopter or a plane. No, that is. Look like that though. Wow. There's another one coming up from there. Yep. Wow. Look at this. What's going on here, guys? Tell me. That is What's abnormal right there. Where are they? 2012, January 1st. Right after the bull drop. And that's no balloon or firework right there. Are those that. fire candles? I mean, Look at there. I am. No, but they're all going in the Come on, I got to put this no, camera down, guys. Watch out. That is hot. They're all going the same way. Any balloon, that is oh pretty God. high right there. there. Now, do you think that's more. attached to anything? Wait, no, bit. that's absolutely more. not. I think it thinks that people light off Son of a bitch. I need there. my tripod. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, maybe. What? I was going to say maybe that's what it is. People light off with but no, they don't. Going they are exactly not. They're not candles. Right? I don't think they oh, were like. Think so? But they're all going exactly the same. Somebody's way. launching this shit. Like it's a candle. It seems like it's dimming out now. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I mean, how well, that's definitely really the, the other Bullshit, one. Bullshit. That's controlled. Right there. That's controlled. You see that turn? That was controlled turn. That was not done by the wind. Well, you want to see what happens in the first two? No, there are several more before that. Yeah, but like I said, they're all still going. In the Joelle, can you go in the garage and get my tripod, please? Yeah. Hurry up, please. They've been here a long time. Hurry up, get it. Going in the 